back. We, uh, we are in your doctor and in the good in all the doctor Upin Drishan, Dr. Upin Shah NMC Special Hospital, uh, specialist in interventory uh, cardiologist. And we will discuss this one in the heart repetition, heart, heart, especially uh, Dr. De specialization angiography. We will discuss angiography in the next one. We will discuss the topic is cardiac angiography. And doctor, about cardiac angiography, uh, what do you like to say? You just want to uh, watch the video? And yeah, we, I think we, if we can have a video, then it will be better. Better to explain. So, there is a video coming. Yeah. This is how the cardiac catheterization, cardiac coronary angiography is done. The heart is center where exactly the it is arrow is showing. Mm -hmm. Either from the blood vessels which are coming from the uh, groin or from the hand, we can just uh, uh, put uh, exactly see the... Uh, catheter as it is shown over here and from there we just take the catheter that is a plastic tube uh, towards the heart coronary arteries and we can perform the coronary angiography and as uh, coronary angiography is a mirror where we exactly can uh, can we go to the next video okay, okay. so uh, we'll see the next video also so yeah, doctor want to explain uh, in detail about yeah. this and we'll have a and next once video. we make sure that there are blockages are there then uh, this is how the blockages do occur in the heart arteries okay. uh, where the blood is nicely uh, flowing mm -hmm. where the rbc's the red colors are red block rbc's and everything very nicely flowing okay. uh, as the blockages you can see that now uh, the the yellow color discoloration is the uh, atherosclerotic plaque in the simple language okay. it is a cholesterol plaque oh. which goes on increasing now this occurs over a period of time it is uh, not like one day two day uh -huh. it occurs over a period of many years okay. and then once at some stage that block the uh, fat uh, whatever the obstruction is there that gets uh, ruptured and once it ruptures mm -hmm. which you will be seeing in this video mm -hmm. then the total blockages of that coronary artery occur. See now this is the rupture is at that type yeah. where the all aggregation of the platelets uh, occurs. They are a particular type of and then the fresh clot occurs over there mm -hmm. and that where causes the heart attack. Okay. okay. And there are two type of heart attack. One is a STEMI, one is a non-STEMI. This is too much complicated but this is the how the heart attack develops mm -hmm. and then depending on the what type of the heart attack doctor treats it uh, these are the patients once develop at this stage severe pain mm -hmm. where the cardiac enzyme will be raised now see the the block, block. completely uh, uh, blocks the artery yeah. and then the full fledged heart attack comes oh. just you saw the when the clot was occurring huh. that was the time when the patient gets a pain start and then he has to reach to the hospital if at that time if patient reaches to the hospital uh -huh. and one doctor picks up then probably the full fledged attack can be prevented uh -huh. that is an importance why the chest pain has to be pay attention and person has to reach before the full fledged attack occurs even the full fledged attack occurs then also there are treatments available uh -huh. nowadays we immediately uh, do the coronary angioplasty uh -huh. that means we put the balloon in the blockages okay. and from outside only the balloon can be inflated oh. and once the balloon the inflate the balloon okay. then this block can be compressed and once we do that uh, that is how the block can be just removed okay so oh. even patient with a heart attack or coronary artery blockages can be done this coronary angioplasty itself also can be done with the patient fully awake Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> so even okay. we put the balloon also when the patient is fully awake. Okay. We can put the stand. That is a stand is a metal spring, specially drug coated now springs uh, stands are available. That can be implanted and then we can remove the blockages of the coronary arteries and this all can be done when the patient fully awake, awake and under local see. anesthesia. Okay. okay, and after one hour patient can have the food also and then next day we many times discharge the patient so oh, yeah. this is how the uh, coronary medical uh, science is so sciences, uh, really uh, <laughs> developed and yeah. coronary angioplasty also sometime definitely it's a life saving and when true. done in right time uh, at the right uh, at the 
uh, right time actually. So what do you the say is the cholesterol, like uh, that cholesterol, there are two types of cholesterol, good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Yeah. Okay. So the cholesterol, the bad cholesterol it causes heart attack, so is it uh, that the cholesterol is the reason for uh, the heart attack? Yeah, see, uh, it's a very good question you have asked. Uh, these are called the risk factors and the risk factors are the cholesterol one of that, second uh -huh. one is a high blood pressure, what we call okay. hypertension, third one is a diabetes, uh -huh. fourth is smoking and uh, fifth is an obesity and sixth is the inactivity life which we all are now. Mm -hmm. uh, I always tell that we all are uh, uh, living in an era where lift to car and car to lift, yes. there is no exercise no and the sedentary lifestyle is the mm, one of the main reason for uh, many of the problems. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, as you said the cholesterol, uh, we have to check cholesterol, uh, everybody should definitely check, uh, previously we used to check routinely at the age of 40 years, but now even at the 25 years one should go for a once check of the cholesterol and blood sugar and if it is high they should obtain the advice from their doctor and accordingly take the medication is required. So uh, the what you suggest is uh, yearly once we should go for full body checkup. At least uh, full body checkup particularly the cholesterol test, the, the lipid profile what you call BP yeah. checkup, blood sugar checkup, ECG and if required further test depending on the f what are the initial uh, findings. At the age of 25 itself because of yeah, the lifestyle. Okay. These are the recommendation now, the scientific body all over the world, yeah. now medical faculty is recommending that at least one time it should be checked at the age of 25. So if people have to take treatment for high uh, cholesterol or BP and diabetes of lifelong, so like once it, it uh, uh, like the body gets all this thing then we have to take treatment for lifelong? Yeah, see, the very good question, uh, majority of my patients always ask me and uh, I always tell okay, these are uh, long term treatment and this risk factor why we call because as we have seen that in the previous uh, video yeah. that the blockage goes on increasing, okay, it, it does not occur over a period of one month or two months, it yeah, occurs over a period of, uh, yeah, this one, this blockage is which is their yellow one, yeah. the fresh is the last terminal, last tro what, what we call, but that yellow one which goes over a period of 30 years, oh, uh, at the beginning, yeah, yeah that yellow years. one is at the age of 30 years, the oh. minimum streak occurs even at the age of 30 years, it starts in everybody, okay. it slowly goes on increasing mm -hmm. and if those patients who have got a high cholesterol, if any blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, mm -hmm. these are the factors, they have a chances that they will lead to the heart attack stage where the complete blockage occurs with the fresh clot. Mm -hmm. Maybe say uh, those who does not have may go at the age of 70 or 75, mm -hmm. but those who have these risk factors might develop problem little earlier, little means 10, 15 years earlier, it can come 50, 55 or maybe even earlier then. So that is why those who are risk factors they have to definitely go for this examination blood test and they by treating this we can postpone the problem. So is there any uh, exercise to keep the heart healthy? I think uh, there are so many exercises depending on the everybody's uh, physical status they mm -hmm. can perform and uh, depending on their cardiac uh, uh, heart status also if blockages are there then they definitely they have to be careful. But the best exercise for majority for majority people is still the walking and that is the reason if you see nowadays everywhere world over to create an awareness every organization and every country people are doing that marathon yeah. walking yeah. and that the reason is simple it is an uh, awareness creation amongst the mass public okay. Okay, that exercise is required and I still believe the best is the walking. Uh, brisk moderate to brisk uh, walk and at least uh, uh, minimum of 3 hours in a week one should have a at least walking or some exercise with depending on the suitability mm -hmm. and uh, if preferably 1 hour daily then it is much better but at least minimum 3 hours in a week to must remember. 3 hours in a week is must for a healthy heart. A healthy heart yes. Okay, can overweight lead to heart attack? Uh, Overweight if he is not having any cholesterol, BP or any overweight, health issues, overweight, overweight. Uh, particularly obesity is a disease by itself That's and it does reduces the lifespan of an individual. Mm. 
so and they are the patients who are being the overweight are likely to have a, a higher chances of a, a heart attack and coronary artery blockages compared to the people who are normal weight uh, one one really important things which i would like to, even the people who are overweight mm -hmm. they many time try very hard to lose their weight and doing walking or exercise they don't and then at at some point they give it up uh, mm -hmm. exercise i think that should not be done if a person who is an overweight and is doing an, an ex exercise or the walking he may not reduce the weight if he reduce the weight it is well and good even if he doesn't reduce the weight keep on doing exercise or okay, because that also helps him and that also benefit because he is the activity and exercise definitely helps him compared to a person who is an overweight and not doing any exercise so if he reduce the weight it is well and good if he cannot at least keep on doing the uh, exercise walking or that that is the best that's one that's way to keep your ha yeah, heart healthy healthy yeah so idvare nammalude doctor samsarichondirunne heart heart lo vera heart attack vanna allengil heart chest pain vannal engine aanu oru test cheyende endoki test aanu ulladu and endaanu heart ne healthy aaki vekkanulle secrets that is exercise appo ningalku idine patti endengil samshayam undengil vilichu doctor nodu choikkanadaanu allengil heart related any problems undengil reports ningalde aduthundengil aa reports vechu ningalku vilichu doctor nodu ningalde doubts choikkanadaanu so doctor uh, as we were discussing about uh, angiogra uh, angiography and uh, after that uh, it's uh, your main uh, subject is coronary angiography right coronary angiography and coronary angioplasty plastic so with a stent implantation so we already did uh, coronary angiography the now if we have got a last uh, one uh, video okay. if is there is that if we can we show that last video last video uh, one last second okay. okay so that may be showing the coronary angioplasty but as i told you coronary angioplasty is a uh, procedure is a treatment mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, heart artery blockages and okay. as i told you that it can be done uh, for a patient who has a blocked artery which is proved on angiography and it can be done you under local anesthesia you want to see that, uh, last video to yeah, explain it yeah. last video Uh, it can be done under local anesthesia okay uh, and uh, this, this is the one right yeah I, mean, i think probably that is not showing here we already discussed this yeah one. fine we have already discussed yeah. the blockages can be removed by just coronary angioplasty we will we put the balloon and we then put the uh, uh, stent over it mm -hmm. and it can be just clear the blockages uh, this can be done under local anesthesia without any uh, stitches and uh, generally patient is fully awake when we are doing the procedure mm -hmm. and uh, it can be done uh, within a 2 hours okay. roughly maybe yeah. sometime less sometime more okay. and the patient can be discharged within 1 or 2 days uh, in majority of the conditions so okay. what is uh, bypass surgery bypass surgery is a uh, see there are three ways of treating the heart disease okay. uh, coronary artery blockages okay. one is a drug treatment mm -hmm. second is a coronary angioplasty and stent mm -hmm. and third is a bypass surgery okay. in bypass surgery uh, surgeon opens up the chest from the mid sternum mm -hmm. and then whatever the blockages are there they are being bypassed by putting another vessels either from the chest wall the one they separate out the one artery mm -hmm. what is called as a left internal mammary artery and put it to the main left anterior descending artery and that is one and sometime they take the uh, arteries from the uh, hand or veins from the leg and they connect it to the in short they bypass the obstruction and put the area where beyond the obstruction so blood supply goes to the heart muscle so that is the bypass surgery so this is the last option the bypass surgery if we cannot uh, it treat it is nothing it like a last option let me tell you uh, both the options are good angioplasty and surgery mm -hmm. uh, that it is depending on the what type of the disease and where is the blockage is okay. uh, and which is the best suitable for the patient we should afford uh, of course no doubt angioplasty is preferred by many uh but where there are certain situations we have to really even uh, send the patient for bypass surgery also and uh, we have to do 
and take the decision what is the best for, for the, the patient. patient. So uh, both are like uh, safe, right? Uh, both are uh, 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 angioplasty is relatively safe. Bypass surgery nowadays is very good, and uh, surgeons in the UAE also very much experienced, and their experience also good. So that is also relatively safe. Uh, 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 with the experience and the good surgeons, surgical teams and surgical surgeons are available over here. The bypass surgery also can be done safely, mm -hmm. and uh, some amount of always risk is in every procedure we do. Okay. But the, uh, it is still when we have to do, we have to do bypass also, and that that is really sometimes also very helpful to the patient. So I always say. Uh, coronary angioplasty and bypass are complementary to each other. Okay. There are certain patients who are suitable for the angioplasty, certain patients will be suitable for the bypass, bypass and certain patients will go for the medical management, drug management. So all three uh, ways of treatment of coronary Depends artery blockages are depending on the what is the situation. It so is very highly technical and uh, uh, better it will be left to the cardiologist uh, to, decide. to decide what exactly so the best for the patient. Oh, okay, all. doctor, just uh, sorry to interrupt you. We have a caller with us. Let yeah. us see who is that. Hello. Hello. Hello, welcome to your doctor. Arunu, where were you? Where is Miss Hello. 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 Yeah, doctor, no, some Yeah, okay. Hello. Hello. Yahaba. His name is Yahaba. Yes, yeah. Mr. Yahaba. My name is Yahaba. I want to talk to you. Okay. Okay, doctor. Hello, doctor. Yes, tell me. Yeah, yeah tell me. Yeah, I share. I have some problem with my heart, like a AF tension there. And I used to take uh, medicine since uh, five years. And uh, each time, doctor used to uh, write uh, an opinion of cardio electrophysiologist. But, uh, yeah. The cardio psychophysiologist, where is it available? Uh, see, the electrophysiologist, uh, what you call, they are the uh, heart specialists, deal with the uh, irregularity of the heart beats uh, uh, when occurs. The normal card, uh, the routine cardiology doctors also can treat, and certain special procedures requires. Then uh -huh. we electrophysiology procedures requires. Then we ask them to go to the electrophysiologist. They are also cardiology cardiologists, mm -hmm. but specialize in the treating the heartbeat irregularities. What is called as the cardiac arrhythmias. Sometimes fast heartbeat, sometimes slow heartbeat, and for them, the, there are nowadays special treatments are available, and there are specialized mm. doctor they are called as electrophysiologist. So, okay. as a uh, like there are some doctors who are like me, specialized in the patient with the heart attack, with the coronary angiography and angioplasty, when the balloon angioplasty mm. in the stent which I do, there are some doctors mm. who are expertized in the this uh, heartbeat irregularity treatment. They are called as mm. electrophysiologist, and definitely then we ask. Uh, patients to go to them uh, them for further treatment and their expert advice and treatment. Uh, why there is no doctor available in NMC? Of what? This uh, type of doctor is in such a big uh, hospital but uh, there is no doctor is available in uh, NMC? No, NMC has got, uh, I am on from NMC and uh, we are having, a, we are uh, taking routinely the cases of angiography, angioplasty every day and uh, all the patients, we have got all the facilities at NMC of echocardiography, treadmill test, we have got uh, angiography facilities, we routinely do the angioplasty uh, and apart from the blood test and x-rays and the routine uh, ECGs, these are all highly specialized uh, facilities are available at NMC specialty hospital, Al Nahada Dubai. Okay. Okay. So, okay, yeah. Uh, there's a uh, one more remark in that uh, report. Which, uh, what is the neuropathic light What is that mean for? Is it clear? Uh, I think your uh, voice is not audio is not very clear. Can you uh, repeat? The can question? you repeat the question, please? This is therapeutic lifestyle to be changed. Like uh, what is that? Sorry, yeah. it is not clear what you are asking me. The video is the audio is not very clear. Okay, please. 
Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, okay. I uh, hope he got the answer and the, uh, he has a doubt. But our, uh, NMC hospital number we will be showing so they can directly contact you. Yeah. And uh, doctor, uh, we were talking about angioplasty and uh, bypass surgery. So it's even at the NMC hospital we are doing a bypass surgery also. Okay. Surgical team is available. So okay. majority of the cardiac treatment facilities are available at NMC hospital special. Okay, so doctor, all uh, this while we were talking about uh, the surgeries and endoplasty. So after this, do we need medi medication for yeah. this? Very good question. Uh, even after doing an angioplasty and stent implantation, nowadays the latest stent, drug eluted stents, and the, there are some uh, biodegradable stents also available. After do putting that or doing a bypass surgery, patient many patient requires a drug treatment to be continued okay. uh, and it depends on the particular individual patients but drug treatment has to be continued and particularly uh, under the supervision or under the care of the cardiologist one has to continue the medications uh, one cannot uh, uh, take the things for granted and after doing angioplasty and surgery the regular medical checkup, regular visit to the cardiologist is essential and uh, cardiologists will certainly perform uh, at a regular intervals the blood test, cardiogram and other tests whatever required echocardiography and other things. So medications are to be required and the regular follow up and visits also after angioplasty and surgery has to be performed. Okay, thank you, thank you, Dr. Upinsha. Thank you very much for such a lovely talk. And we started with chest pain and we ended with uh, coronary <laughs> endoplasty and bypass surgery. Uh, I am really uh, thank you to all viewers, and uh, uh, I will appreciate that uh, they will at least have some uh, more understanding and they will definitely be benefited by this information which we have. Uh, really shared, uh, shared with you uh, through this our ch uh, TV channel media. We Thank are you. very blessed that uh, such an experienced doctor uh, is with us today and he, you shared a lot of information with us and definitely is going to help all of us and we will be taking precautions and thank you very much thank you very much for explaining us in detail all uh, the procedure and everything thank you doctor thank you very thank much thank you very much thanks thanks so thank you thank you very much for uh, watching us and keep watching next year's prime time and we will be having more doctors in our show and if you have any doubts regarding uh, today's topic you can mail us to info at ntvua.com and uh, anything regarding uh, you want to talk to Dr. Upendra also, you just mail us, we will give, we will provide you the phone number. So this has been the signing off with Dr. Upendra. This is uh, this much for today. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.